everyone welcome back to my youtube channel now this video i'm going to show you the proof of the famous um, sine squared x why is it sine squared x plus cos squared x equals to one okay i'm going to prove you this equation so that you have a better understanding of you better appreciate how this equation comes about and it will not be just an equation they will forget after the exam right now to start out with I have a right angle triangle over here right and um, you learn that this is an angle of X or I would say a theta and I would say this is probably my a label given name of A, B, and C. This is where I'm going to start off with, right? A right angle triangle. Now, from uh, what we know last time, I mean, previously we learned that, oh, if I want to find out the sine of angle, sine cos tangent, I know that, oh, yes, my sine theta is actually opposite. If you were here, if you were here, sine theta is opposite means opposite over opposite over this is called the hypotenuse right this is the hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse this is OPP and the one here is called adjacent okay so sine would be opposite over hypotenuse and if I want it to be cos theta, cos theta would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. So and tangent would be tangent would be opposite over adjacent. And then last time we learned is S sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if it were to be cos is C, A is adjacent, H, K, and tangent would be T, O, A, Toa, right? So, so, Ka, Toa, right? So, it's a kind of like a way to help you figure out which side you want it, right? So, but this is, we are not going into the fundamental of, uh, I mean, the, the trigonometry, how to find the angle. We are here to prove why is it sine squared x plus cos squared x equals to 1. Now, for this same triangle, if I were to scroll down, oh, I could, okay? For this triangle that I have here, if I want to now use the same triangle or I just sketch a new triangle. Now in order to prove the identity, I must have a circle, right? So let's start out with a circle. Okay. Big enough. Good to see, right? And um, I would need a two axis of x, y. Probably I start from here and somewhere around here. Okay. So let this to be my x and y axis, and my radius would be from here to here. This is the radius of my circle. Yes right so this is my r radius you may i may actually change it to a unit unity Let, let's say it's let's assume r is one right so now here this r radius of the circle you have an angle i would say an elevated angle of theta so if i were to use a set square to draw a perpendicular line from this point of any point down onto the x-axis to here 
Therefore, I'll form a right angle triangle. I use a set square just now. So let's label this to be O's origin. Probably this point is A and this point is B. Right? So how do I prove it then? If we make reference to our previous video, or probably up there, up here, the so toa I will even apply to this figure. Now, in order for the Pythagoras theorem to be correct, OA length squared plus the AB length squared is going to be equal to OA or uh, OB squared, which is my radius which is R squared. So, now, how do I figure out what's OA here? My OA length, let OA length to be my X length. If this length represents X. So therefore, this is actually x squared plus a b length. This length, let's let it be y plus y squared is equivalent to r squared. Okay, I'll define it to be one later. Okay, I, I will prove to you it's one. So the length of x here, if I say x length. How was the relation between x length and the theta? This is actually cos, isn't it? My length of x is actually take the ratio of cos of theta to be x over r. So here my x is actually r cos theta. If I were to substitute this into here and I find out what is y, another color, my y length is actually sine theta. It's actually y over hypotenuse. So therefore, my y is actually r sine theta. So if I know what is x, I know what is y, if I substitute into the Pythagoras theorem earlier here, my equation will turns out to be this, the following. So x squared, so therefore there will be r cos theta, this is x squared, plus y squared sine theta, this is actually x squared, plus y squared, supposed to be equal to r squared. R squared. So if I were to expand this, multiply, I mean, square them both, and then round off the r and r, or you factorize i and r, so it's r squared cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is actually equals to r squared. So a hint and therefore sine squared plus cos squared or cos squared plus sine squared. So sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, and this is the reason why here and here can be actually cancel off, actually simplify, it's actually equal to unity of 1. Right? So, this is proof that this sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Right? 
I think that's all from me. Appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next video.